I know that it's very important to talk about black courage. I know it's very important to talk about black integrity because there could be very, there's many areas out there that is lacking such things. But their audacity to push this on people just to try to get a pair is, is ridiculous. You're basically pushing people towards resale. It's either going to be a backdoor event, just like with Marcus Jordan R ones. I don't call them Michael Jordan trophy room ones. I call them Marcus Jordan ones, just like them bullshits. Or it's going to be where people are just going to pay resale to just not deal with that bullshit because it's like one person put in the comments, "Look, we just like the shoes and we want to wear the shoes. Why are we having to go back to fucking college?" Like seriously, to prove our self worth. We just like the shoes and we want to wear the shoes. Why are we having to go back to fucking college? I wanted to play that part again because uh, it's important to absorb the energy, the place that I'm at mentally right now while I'm going through this video. And I want y'all to take this journey with me. So let's go. Welcome folks to Takisa's Tirade. The episode number is on the screen. Um, today we're gonna to be talking about the audacity of Manir. Um, and the thing about it is, it's not just Maneer, but it's also the audacity of uh, Sneakers app. So the title will be The Audacity of Maneer and Sneakers. Um, first off, if you haven't yet, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to wait until after the video to like, I hardly understand. I appreciate your uh, respect and patience in going through this. I try to not go any further than 10 minutes on these tirades. Um, so I appreciate y'all's patience when we get into it. now. I'm gonna put the information on the screen while I read it here, but we're gonna just go into the whole um, Maneer USA. Um, on the, well, let's see, about three days ago, so on Monday, uh, November 7th, um, Maneer had put out the information I was gonna read to y'all here, and, and um, let me go ahead and put it up here now. Um, Progress takes time, consistency, and a commitment to values at the heart of human change, courage, integrity, and audacity. This moment is inspired by the black and brown leaders changing the world from the heart of their community with purpose, passion, and vision. Built on the value of consistent action being the only recipe for progress, a standard set of trailblazers committed to the tireless work generational change would take to be achieved, the Alma Manier Air Jordan 4 draws on the promise of youth to be the catalyst for change, standing up in the face of adversity and divisiveness, or divisiveness, I apologize, standing firm on our ethos of timelessness on a silhouette Renowned for its impact and significant cross significance across time, this moment serves to bring a generation together to form a better future with hope and bravery in the face of doubt and uncertainty. This is about where we're going. The future depends on us all. Now, um, the statement itself, it couldn't have been captured no better. I mean, whoever wrote this definitely took their time and effort and they carefully thought about what they were going to put from pen to paper. Okay, for us, the consumers, to read. Um, let me continue. Now, there will only be two ways to access the Alma Manier Jordan, Air Jordan 4s. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You have video submission entry from Monday until yesterday on the, at the November 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The first part was share a video on Instagram and Twitter speaking to the issues that are most important to you. The second part at us and your local representative and or local regional national media outlet and number three use the hashtag my voice holds power for us to see your video and keep an eye on your inbox in case your entry is selection is selected the alma manier air drill 4 will then launch 11:17 via almamanier.com there will be no local in-store raffle general release or in this case general raffle or discord member only drawn for this release mind you a lot of people are just putting up their, that's just too much. It's like horrible release method. It's a perfect way to backdoor even more prayers. So congratulations on that. Yeah, this just ain't it guys. I get the message, but come on. One person did say, see, there's business that says they want to change. And then there's businesses that want change. Uh, this video submission idea was a genius. This person is like one out of hundreds. 
because a lot of other people is like, I guess I'm buying a pair on StockX, I guess, I guess I'm buying a pair off Go. good way to scare off resellers, which is another second positive. But everyone else is just like, at this point, I'll just pay resell for these shoes. All this for a pair of shoes? Interesting, it is. Another person said, why are people complaining? There, There's a normal release if y'all don't want to get involved and it's a chance for Manier or Ama Manier USA and the Whitaker Group to use their plat platform for social good. And I applause this. The last thing I'm gonna read is actually something that makes sense to me. Doing a lot, we just want the sneakers, bro. We're not social justice workers. The thing I have to have, is it making a release of a shoe unnecessarily hard for the sake of the social change. I understand that as black people, we do the best we can to take a bad situation and make it into a positive for not only our own people, whether it's within our family or our children to learn from, but for the community surrounding us to encourage themselves to change for the better, to grow, to basically become better than they once were. But. Can we not use something else other than things that cost only 20 or $40 to make? But I guess it is a moment of clarity for the Whitaker Group, for Armand Manier, to go ahead and say, you know what? Yeah, these are just shoes, but let's try to push forward and make it where people really take a step back and look at the full issue and see what it is that we're trying to portray into our community for the social economic justices that is required to be able to move forward in today's society. I get it. I'm smart enough to get it. Y'all are smart enough to get it. But I guess for me, like you heard in the beginning of the video, we just want the shoes. You know what I mean? Like that's really what it comes down to. As sneakerheads, the last thing you're thinking about is social norms. But then again, it depends on what your lifestyle has been a part of for years upon years. So although most of you might be like, okay, look, just give me the fucking shoes, man. Stop. I don't want to, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I just want the shoes. There are a good amount of you that's re looking at this video that's saying, you know what? I can appreciate their, their fight. Um, and I can appreciate them using what reaches most black people to do something more. Um, the sneakers app part was actually kind of interesting. The sneakers app was like, hey, um, in order to get the shoes you see on here, which is the lost and found Jordan ones or the Jordan, they're definitely not the 85 cuts, but we'll get into that in another time. But in order to get a pair of these shoes, you, you've had to apply 20 times and lost consecutively 20 times on the Air Jordan 1. And then we'll give you exclusive sneaker access. So basically people yesterday was able to get exclusive access to get their pair of Air Jordan 1 lost and found. Um, there was no political statement. There was no preaching of the black plight, the movement. It was just like, hey, uh, if you didn't try to get our shoes last time, the last 20 times, you're not gonna get a pair of these that easily this time. Even though there's supposed to be 500,000 pairs available to purchase. Hmm, does that sound right to you, yo? I know it don't sound right to me. Um, it sounds like there's some bullshittery going on. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like a lot of these pairs have already been backdoored and Nike's trying to make up for it by saying, hey, we'll give you all exclusive, exclusive access. All you have to do, or all you had to have done, it, it's, it's kind of interesting. You have one group on this side that's kind of like, hey, we're trying to at least make a difference in the world, if it's a, even if it's a small footprint in the societal norms. We're trying to get some good across for y'all to really think about before going to get the shoes itself. Because again, they didn't say that you can't get the shoes at all elsewhere or whatever. They're just saying for them, I'm a Lanier, this is what they're gonna do. On the other hand, you have Nike on this side. It's like, if you didn't mess with us the last 20 times, then we're really not trying to mess with you this time. You're not gonna get exclusive access, more than likely, even though we have 500,000 pairs, most of them have been backdoored already, so you're probably not gonna be able to get a pair in your size as you would expect. If anything, it's gonna be resale. And that's how it's going. 
I think out of the two companies, Alma Manier has a more moral standing, where Nike is pretty much about the money. Although it may be annoying with what Alma Manier is doing, you have to respect their choice of words and how they're handling the situation in itself in order to push something that needs to become a more societal norm than it actually is right now. Nike is just like, what up? It's hard, but hey, you decide. Hit me up with comments, let me know, and I'll talk to you. Jump off the stage like yeehaw.